and welcome to Picture This, a podcast from the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum. My name is Jill Hartke, and I'm the curator of digital collections here at the museum. Today we are attending the first international championship rat race held in Albuquerque back in 1959. In the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum is a photograph of school children cheering along with a man wearing a striped shirt and waving his hat toward them. Here's the story behind the photograph. At the 1959 New Mexico State Science Fair, a group of science teachers began discussing the hectic nature of the fair and compared it to a rat race. A rat race is usually considered to be something that can exhaust you and fill you with the feeling that what you're doing is pointless and leaves you no time to relax or enjoy the moment. The science teachers pondered not only the comparison between a rat race and school science fairs, but also maybe life in general. From the mulling over of these topics, a potential for an event began to form. The idea for the first international championship rat race was born. One of those teachers pondering the phenomena of rat racing was George Fishbeck, a science teacher from Monroe Junior High School in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Fishbeck became the self-proclaimed Ratmeister, the master of ceremonies for the event. He was an auctioneer, race judge, promoter, and general rat wrangler. After weeks of planning and invitations to local schools to join in the festivities, Fishbeck had 30 rats from local schools entered into the race. They had a race course made of two by fours with 30 race chutes, and they set it up outside the science building at Monroe Junior High. After school on April 16, 1959, an animal show was held at 3 p.m. featuring hamsters, pigeons, snakes, and birds. Students and animals from four Albuquerque Junior High schools Garfield, Taft, Monroe, and McKinley were all represented. At 3.33 p.m., the official rat weigh-in began. Each rat had a name. One was called Maristides, and another was named Wrong Way Herman. The rats were the school colors of their sponsored school and were cheered on by their respective cheerleaders, who had developed rat-specific cheers for the event. Just before the race began, a rat auction was held. Fishbeck starting the bidding for each rat at 75 cents. The winning bidder of each racing rodent not only got a chance to cheer on their pet in the race, but a local pet store supplied boxes of rat food and one big container of cat repellent for each rat. The course itself was made of wooden race chutes, and around the course hung pennants and signs for each school to encourage each rat on their quest to the finish line. By the time the race was set to begin, the spring winds that Albuquerque is notorious for had begun to blow. 30 mile an hour gusts hit the course, adding a new level of challenge for both the rats and the humans. Despite the wind, George Fishbeck, in his role as Ratmeister, did not let the weather interfere with his enthusiasm or his attempt to encourage raucous support from the students. He did succeed in keeping enthusiasm high, But after all that planning, the main event was a bit of a letdown after Fishbeck lost sight of the winning rat, and he couldn't recall which rat came in first place. He did know that a rat owned by Bill Hungate came in second place, and a rat owned by Sue Strickland won third place. Although Fishbeck's rat race was ultimately a one-and-done event, his career as both a beloved science teacher and, beginning the year after his foray into rodent racing, a TV personality, left a legacy larger than life. In 1960, while still teaching in Albuquerque, he began to host a children's science program on KNME-TV, the public broadcasting station in Albuquerque. By June of 1961, his series of teleclasses on Channel 5 was selected as the best televised instructional program in the country for the secondary school level. And KNME itself was named as National Educational Television Station of the Year for science programming. You can even watch some of Fishbeck's science programs that were shown on KNME on the American Archive of Public Broadcasting's website. Fishbeck's enthusiasm for teaching, his love of science, and his boundless energy shine through the archival footage. Public broadcasting was the perfect spot for educators with the energy and on-air appeal to move from the classrooms into the living rooms of families through the small screen. Fishbeck's success led to him being hired as the on-air weatherman for KOB-TV in the early 1960s until 1970. 
before he headed to KOAT-TV until 1972. That's when he made the jump to the West Coast, working for 20 years as a TV weatherman on KABC in Los Angeles. His move to LA was welcomed in Southern California, but Albuquerque felt his loss keenly. The Albuquerque Museum's AV collection includes news footage of school children calling for George to return to Albuquerque with their hand-drawn pleas on cardboard, picketing in front of the local television station. Dr. George, as he was known after receiving an honorary doctorate from the University of Albuquerque, gained a huge following through his television work. George Fishbeck made the weather forecast a must-see broadcast, but he was always more than a weatherman. He was a television science educator, sometimes having to apologize to the TV audience for being so caught up in the science part of his segment that he forgot to mention the weather forecast. On that windy April day in 1959, when Fishbeck was riling up a crowd of junior high schoolers to cheer on 30 rats, a newspaper reporter asked him why he was doing this at all. He answered, quote, just for kicks, does everything have to be serious, end quote. His curiosity, creativity, and energy fueled his own love of science and left a lasting impression on those who were in his classes or tuned into his broadcasts. George Fishbeck died in 2015 and is buried in Hollywood Hills Cemetery in Los Angeles. But a web search of his name will bring up lots of comments about the fond memories of people who recall Dr. George as their weatherman and science teacher. The photograph of the first international championship rat race in 1959 is part of the Albuquerque Public Schools collection in the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum. And it illustrates the enthusiasm of a teacher who found his calling and who was about to embark on a career that would influence more people than he could have imagined. Thank you for joining us for Picture This with the Albuquerque Museum. Please join us next time for the story behind another photograph in the museum's collection.